Good. Um, let me turn my phone off. Everybody wanna notify me when I'm filming. What is up, me? So today, as I promised y'all, I'm gonna look. Summer, please, not right now, not right now. But I know I'm a little late. Um, but as y'all know, you know your boy has just been working through it, getting through life, and on a new journey, on a new road, on a new healing journey, on a new adventure, getting my life together. So. Um, as I said by the title, um, this is the truth. It's answering most of y'all's questions that y'all had about, we're going to call them Beggett. Beggett seems like a, the right thing. I don't say no names or nothing. But, um, yeah, so I know I did a Q&A and for some reason, I don't know why, but I can't pull up any of those questions on my phone. So I decided to just come out with a part two, just the truth and everything that y'all were asking me and um yeah answering y'all's questions that i kept seeing back to back to back to back to back to back and also i wanted to really make this video because um the whole point of me being here and being an influencer i couldn't be doing it without you guys and i know that a lot of you guys look up to me and as much as i've been through and where i'm at now is a very big accomplishment um, for me, myself, and I want to be able to help you guys um, get through certain tasks in life. I mean, so a lot of times I read my DMs and you guys are telling me like, Omar, how do you, how do you get through this? How did you, um, how did you manage to do that? Uh, you really helped me out with your story and your um, like tips, advice, yes, advice. Um, and I feel like that's, I feel like that's my calling as an influencer. Um, as y'all know, I'm really big and a really big believer. And um, yeah, I feel like that's my calling. And I really, really want to be able to help you guys that go through the same things that I went through or even somewhere just, just as close or a lot of y'all probably maybe going through even worse. But a lot of times, even specific amounts of advice can help. Um, so yeah, that's what this new journey is about is me doing my duty as an influencer and also just bringing y'all along with me so y'all can experience everything I experienced. So let's just get into the video. So a lot of you guys asked and were talking like, and saying, oh my God, was the breakup, um, was the breakup fake? Uh, was, was, was all that just for clout? And the answer is yes, uh, it was real. It was definitely real. Um, there, as much as it seemed very eventful and so urgent and just crazy, um, all of it was completely real. Um, and yeah, like I, I it's kind of, you know, it, it's kind of, a little hard sometimes like me expressing these things I know it's not all you guys but me expressing these things and trying to open up and you know people being like oh my god oh my god it's not real and in reality I'm just trying to expose so much of my life so you guys can learn from my mistakes because that's how I've learned a lot of things in life from other people's mistakes or even my mistakes myself um, and Number one, like uh, I realized through this journey is you have to realize your self-worth, your self-value and always put yourself first. Like if I'm not putting myself first anymore, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't need it. I don't. Mm -mm. None of that. Um, and I think that was something that I genuinely had to learn. And maybe I felt like I could trust someone and beg it. Um, but I realized I really did not look at, I really ignored the red flags. I mean, there were so many red flags and y'all were telling me in the comments and I'll read them. I'll be like, y'all homies, y'all are crazy. Y'all are, but in reality, y'all were freaking right. Like y'all were right. I know what I want in life and it's a, you know what? One second, I'm gonna fix this. 
Um, a lot of you guys are asking me, Omar, how did you heal so fast? Or why do you say you're already healed and it's only been da da da? Um, truth is, um, I deep down in my gut, I already knew. Um, I feel like I already knew. And I mentally prepared myself like all that time by myself. I didn't have the physical proof until that it got here. But that whole time by myself, when actions started changing, I started seeing things, people were telling me things, but I was listening to Baguette. Um, I, I knew, and it was a feeling that was like, I just had to trust myself. And that's why I even went through the phone. You know what I mean? Um, but I knew, and as much as I tried to not even let it get to me because I didn't know if I was right or not, it was it was never a doubt in my mind that I was getting cheated on. And so, therefore, mentally, like, I was already prepared for it. And, of course, when I really seen it, oh, my goodness, like, that was a breakthrough moment, like, my head just felt like I was just floating in midair, like just in the middle of space. And it was so, so many emotions at once. And um, it was like, I knew I believed it, but I didn't believe it. Like, I, I genuinely felt like, how could somebody really do something like this to someone that cares and loves so deeply. But afterwards, um, after I found out and after we, you know, whatever, because I was already done over it mentally and I already, I had gathered my thoughts. When I, once I gathered my thoughts, it didn't bother me because I was like, whatever, like I already knew, whatever. Um, and so... Yes, after I found out he was still here, not here at my house, but here uh, in town. And we hung out, you know, like we hung out a couple of times. Why? Because I felt like mentally um, it was I was like 90 percent over. I still had my 10 percent and I still wanted it to be a thing because, I mean, do I miss him or do I miss being with him? No. Do I miss our bond, our relationship, and what we had? Yes. And I think like anybody would because that was a version of my best friend. It felt like another version of me in a sense. And um, yeah, like I feel like there's nothing wrong with missing that feeling because I know I'm going to get it again. But it definitely was a, a triggering moment and um, yeah, I, I definitely was able to be around and record that video because I just, I just was like, okay, okay, notice. Um, I just, you know, like, that's how I knew I was over when I was able to do those things. But, you know, like I said, I still had a slight part of me that wanted it. And I just need a little bit of time and distance and space to realize, like, Omar, like, the supporters love you down. Like, it's, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it shows my, I think, I, and I hope that my genuineness and my um, fantasy of romance really shows through because... Um, that's all I ever really wanted. And I, I am a very, very upfront, blunt person when it comes to love. And I believe, I believe in love. I really do. And I still do. Um, but I just feel like Baguette was not ready. And it was something that before we even got together, like I told Baguette, I said, look, bro, you, we can go through so many different things, but just don't cheat. Just don't cheat. Just don't cheat. And the fact that 
that was the first big situation. Like, if I had to, if I told you that I felt like our relationship was amazing, like so close to perfect, it really, really felt like that. Like, we rarely argued. I mean, any argument that we would get into, it would be so small and we couldn't do nothing but like laugh. So it, it was. It was something that just felt like a fantasy for me, and um, and I completely understand how people that are in love or have these type of connections with other people, for example, y'all, um, my supporters, I understand how some of you guys, you know, text me and are going through it, and you're like, how do you, like, get through this heartbreak? How do you do it? And... It's, I promise y'all, like, I promise y'all, it is a sense of realizing your worth and realizing that that's the other person's loss. Like, nowhere near your loss. And I thou, a thou well, thousand percent believe that that was not my loss. I think that was my gain in knowledge and in, um, in life and love. And, and I think it really taught me a really, really, really big lesson in... Well, not necessarily a lesson. I think more so it taught me like, bro, look in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? Like you have one so much potential. People love your energy, love to be around you. You're a good person. You deserve the world. And why would you settle for something or even let something or someone bring that energy or take that energy away from you or make you feel less than? And when I really, truly realized this after Baguette left, it was a, a realization like, what the heck? Like, I really needed that. And um, it's something that I would say a heartbreak is not easy. It's not easy, guys. It's not easy. But it's the the only way to get over it is to get up and be like, I look good. I am good. Like, I'm, I don't, you don't need someone else in your life. You don't need to be in a relationship maybe at that moment. Again, I want to be in love. I want to be in a relationship. I want to be married. I want to have kids. I want to build a family. But it's okay because maybe it's not my time. And again, I, I probably just had to... I learned so much. Like I took so much from that relationship. You have to look at what you also have gained. And if that's knowledge, if that's... Like for example, me... I do so much stuff around the house, like when it comes to hygiene that I didn't do before because I didn't look at it the same way or um, just taking care of myself. Like one thing about Baguette, he was super, super um, into himself and uh, it taught me some things like about, you know, like always just shaving, like and just, I don't know, things like that, little things like that, that I really, really take into deep consideration, like and it makes me feel so much better. Um, and even when it comes to the gym, like he was the one that was always forcing me to go to the gym or things like that. And I think that those things are really important because you learn something from every situation, lesson, or problem. Whatever it is, just take it and run with it. Um, and like I said before, guys, just make sure you know you're the prize. And that's if you're not the one cheating. Now, if you're the one cheating, doing all the toxic, mm -mm -mm -mm. but if you are genuine and as honest and you really, really, truly love someone and you put in your all and you're not getting the same in return, then you do not, they do not deserve you. And... um like you guys saw, reciprocation is very important. And when you notice those signs, guys, don't let, don't let love blind you because it can easily blind you. And take that from someone who has been through it and who you guys have seen go through it. Um, like when Chris Brown said, love is blind. Yeah, I know. Like it. It made me blind and it blindsided me. And guys, I cannot believe, I cannot believe, I cannot believe all those signs. Like even y'all were telling me 
and I'm just over here like, da di da di do 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 di da. But again, I'm very grateful for the situation, and yeah, like um, we're very we're cool, we're cordial, we're here now. Um, I don't see it going no further. I doubt Baguette does as well. It's not something that's going to. I don't see that sparking up anytime soon. Maybe years as friends, like a real spark. Uh, I kind of, I have tried because I wouldn't mind just being friends. I'm not on that timing anymore. Like I'm so over it. Like, um, but yeah. So now my healing journey and my journey that I'm on now, um, I have taken influencing so much more serious. Um, I mean, my business when it comes to like influencing and social media is growing so much within itself. Like when it comes to my management, marketing, I'm building so much behind the scenes that y'all don't see yet. But um, it's a whole, whole new era. Um, I really did. I was trying to do Vlogtober and I'm really sorry I didn't get to do that for you guys, but I still needed some time. I thought I, I thought I was ready, but I needed some time to build myself. Uh, more so like, okay, Omar, get together. We done. We already got past level one. Now you got to just work your way and get your energy back up to finish this level two. And I feel like level two is where I'm at now. Like, and I had to build that energy. Like I was exhausted. I got past level one, but I was exhausted. And again, that's normal. I mean, growing up, I I remember um, like telling my, because I only grew up with my mother, um, my like middle school, elementary, middle and high school, beginning of high school. And I remember telling her about like my depression and my mother would be like, oh, you're not depressed. Uh, you don't pay bills. You don't got to go with throughout. All you got to do is go to school and da, 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 da. And I, I feel like I'm not the only person that's going through that or has went through that. And, um, and I think that can only lead someone to even more depression. And when it comes to depression, I feel like it's a state of mind that's easy to fall into. Um, and certain things around you can make it worse without even realizing they're making it worse. And because of this, you have to be able to love yourself. Self-love, like I've said from the beginning, like know your words. Self-love is the epitome of what's the opposite of depression, of happiness. And reaching your goals and motivating yourself I mean, I had my days afterwards where, of course, I was sad about the situation. So I had no motivation to get up. I had no motivation to even film. I had no motivation to record. Um, but it's a part of life. It's part of being a human being. We're going to go through our ups and downs and da 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 But look at me now doing so much better. Um, and sometimes it's crazy because I just think like, dang, I moved here literally so we can start over together so we can be consistent and we can build this, our YouTube family. And, you know, I was going to move away because I felt like, what the heck? Like, I literally came here for Baguette and for us to build something here in a new city for both of us. But I come to realize maybe... It was God's intention, and this is only a place for me to better grow in the moment. And yeah, like I've been on my solo dolo, but baby, I'm loving it. Like, I, yeah, I think it's it's a really good spot for me to be in right now, and I only want to really help you guys, and um, and I want to really be there for my supporters the way that you guys were there for me. I mean, there were so many heartfelt messages that you guys were sending me and shout out to y'all because I 
didn't respond to some of them because I just didn't know how to. Uh, like I said, I was in a moment of, even after he left, I was in a moment of shock. Um, and getting through it was not easy. Um, it wasn't easy because I'm always going to miss those memories and what could have been. Um, but I really, really, really genuinely, like, when I say thank you to you guys, um, a lot of y'all, the messages y'all sent, y'all probably don't even know how much y'all did for me. And that's why I really want to return this favor because, um, yeah, like, there's there's been some really dark thoughts of mine that happened at one point, and it only took one person for to say something and I was like, yo, this is this is so gorgeous and beautiful and I can't let you guys go. And I I feel like if y'all didn't let me down, it's no way I could let you guys down. But I want to make it everything clear. Yes, everything that happened was real and um yeah, I'm on a new journey. I'm going out of the country tomorrow for the first time by myself. Um well, being single is my first time going out the country. So y'all are going to be able to see that. Um, I'm really excited. Um, and it's a self, it's a self vacay. Um, I'm really, 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 really trying to express my self love. And yeah, like enjoy y'all self, enjoy y'all, enjoy y'all's presence because you're the best person you're ever going to meet. You're the only person that can love yourself the way you're going to love yourself. And if you don't love yourself, nobody else will. Yeah, how, how how can you love someone else when you don't even love yourself, okay? Can I get an amen? But uh, long story short, I hope that answered a lot of y'all's questions. And, um, and yeah, and I hope y'all really, really ride out with me on this journey. Because if y'all don't, I don't know what y'all going to do. Because if, if you ain't here, baby... You got to be part of the winning team. And, baby, this is the winning team over here, okay? So, um, i trying to think, is there anything else I can, that y'all kept asking me? Um, yeah, y'all. What a, what a life. What a life. But, oh, also, shout out to Summer Walker. Like, that's, yeah. If it wasn't for Summer, baby. Uh yeah, I'm like, oh my, oh my God, y'all, let me tell y'all this. So, this is real personal. There's one song by Summer Walker. And um, it's called Just Like Me. And it definitely got me through. Well, actually, no, forget that. That song made me cry the first week. <laughs> like, so, like I said, me and get we ended up going to you know hanging out like the days after i found out we ended up just chilling hanging out like nothing strictly cool friends like some days and talk tech conversations not every day but some of the days and he was like yo let's go to the gym together so i was like, all right cool bet and y'all i kid you not i went to the gym we went to the gym and just like me came on oh my god i started crying like i had to go to the bathroom because i was in tears like summer walker that song i'm i'm, I'm gonna read the song for y'all and i'm gonna read the lyrics for y'all she says okay and this really hit me at that point let me i don't know i don't think i'm getting emotional but she said why don't you tell me what she's got on me i find it hard to believe that anyone Will love you as great as me <laughs> Banging on my door at a quarter to three You play the same, so I guess you go with her Without society's outlook on me, bet you choose me first Hold oh. But we've got a special bond. <sighs> okay, and then the part that she said, 
I was just like, um, she said this. Tats on my face, and you say you're ashamed deep down. I know. Please, y'all, don't take that clip and think that I'm still. Summer Walker just has always hit for me, but at the time, like when I was going through a breakup, definitely hit. And also, make sure y'all find y'all's coping methods. So, my coping method um, is definitely music, or my coping, yeah, my coping me mechanism, or whatever you want to call it. My coping method is music. Um, so, coping method, if y'all don't know what it is, I really recommend it. It's basically something that helps you relax, think, and really lets you express yourself or makes you feel at home or comfortable. And for me, music is my coping method. Summer Walker, she always gets to me. Even though most of her music be like, get back with him. It be like, bitch, I'm sad. I don't want to get, like, <sighs> leave me alone, Summer. But thank you for making me realize that I'm, I'm, I'm sad and it's I'm sad for a reason. And if a man gonna let you be sad, just leave him. Like, like just leave him. You shouldn't even, I shouldn't have even been in a Summer Walker. I should have been in a Who's always happy and 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 happy in her relationship. Who's this lady that's always happy in her relationship? I, I, I don't even know. But I I should have been like I don't know, but, um, yeah, homies, I love y'all, I love y'all so much, and again, y'all mean the world to me, especially everyone that sent me these heartfelt messages, and I, when I say you mean the world to me, and you help me so much, I mean it from the bottom of my heart, and, um, Feel free to like jot down any topics that maybe you guys want me to talk about in my next video um, or getting through things. I mean, I've dealt with a homophobic mother. I've dealt with being homeless. I've dealt with all that y'all possibly probably think. And um, I've dealt with a lot, you know, and I, I definitely want to open up to you guys because I want y'all to understand it is okay. Y'all are not the only people out there. But I love y'all so much, homies. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe. And don't go anywhere because it's turn up season and Vlogmas is coming. So, and I have a really, really big surprise for y'all. Um, and again, I was supposed to share half of this stuff with y'all before. But y'all break up ain't easy. So, bisous. I love you guys so much. Thank y'all for tuning in. Mwah.